Okay, last example here. We got a guy named Trevor who's doing a project on tree growth rates. And he measures the heights of two trees in early spring. And then he measures them again 20 days later. Okay. The younger tree of the two goes from 120 centimeters to 130 centimeters in those 20 days. The older tree goes from 140 to 144. And again, over 20 days. And already you can get a sense of which tree is growing faster. Obviously, the younger tree is growing faster because it gained 10 centimeters over 20 days. The older tree gained 4 centimeters over 20 days. So it's growing a little bit slower. So let's assume that each tree grows at a constant rate. When will those two trees be the same height? Okay, and at what height will that be? To figure that out, we need to model the growth of both trees. So think of a graph that would show the growth of each tree. I'm going to do the younger tree in green. Okay, so we want to go from 120. We'll make that, I don't know, about here. And there will be 130. And actually, I should do that in all in black. Let's do that all in black. So here's 120, 130, 140, and 150. Okay, so the younger tree starts at 120 at the beginning of our experiment here, and it grows to 130 over the course of 20 days. So right here, we would have a value of 20 for our x coordinate. So the coordinate of this point right here would be 20. 130, right? In 20 days, it reached 130 centimeters. And at the beginning, at zero days, we had a height of 120. For the older tree, we're going to do that in red, okay? The older tree, it goes from 140 to 144, right? So here it is at 140. And over the course of 20 days, we should get to about 144. So my scaling is a little bit off here, but you can kind of tell that the green line is a little bit steeper than the red line, right? That's because the younger tree is growing faster. What are the coordinates of those points on either end of the red line? Well, this point right here would be, after 20 days, the tree is 144 centimeters tall. And to start with, we had 140 centimeters tall. So how do we create a model based on this? Right? We don't have a base rate and or a base amount and a rate. We don't have totals. But we do have two points on a line. How do you write the equation of a line when you have two points on a line? Well, one thing we could do is we could find the slope of this green line here and we know the y-intercept, so we could put that into slope-intercept form, right? So let's find the slope using slope formula. If you forget what that is, here it is. The difference in the y-values over the difference in the x-values. So that would be 130 minus 120 over 20 minus 0. That gives us 10 over 20 which is just half. So that would mean that the tree would grow half a centimeter per day, the younger tree. Okay, putting that into slope-intercept form, we get the height of the tree, I'm going to use h instead of y, is equal to half a centimeter per day plus the initial height, which was 120. All right. Now let's do the same thing for the older tree. The older tree, the slope would be, let's see, 144 minus 140, all over 20 minus 0. And that gives 4 over 20, which reduces to 1 over 5, which is about 0.2 centimeters per day. So the rate is less than the younger tree which we had estimated. 
So making our equation, the height of the older tree grows at a fifth of a centimeter per day. Oops, I don't need the centimeter part in there. My mistake. A fifth of a centimeter per day, plus its initial height at the beginning of the experiment, 140. So there's our linear system. And now we want to graph it and figure out when the trees will be the same height and how high that will be. So what day will they be the same height and what height will that be? Let's graph that to find out. Okay, so let's graph these two lines to figure out when our trees will be the same height. So we've got half x plus 120. Instead of writing the fraction 1 over 2, I'm just going to put 0.5. And for the other tree, the older tree, I'm going to put 0.2, the decimal form of 1 over 5, x plus 140. And let's think about some reasonable x values. Let's see. x is the number of days that have gone by. I know that the trees are not the same height after 20 days, so I'm going to have to make it a little bit longer than that. Let's try 80 days. That might be a little bit of overkill, but... We'll find out in a moment whether or not it is. The height of the trees starts at, well, it starts at 120. We could just leave it at zero though, that's fine. Y max, let's try 300. Again, might be a little bit of overkill, but let's see. Okay, so that's pretty squished. How can we fix that? Well, we can make our X max go further out. Let's do that. Let's try 200. See how that looks? Yeah, that's not bad. All right, so we want to find out this intersection point. That's the point at which the younger tree, this bottom line, equals the height of the older tree, that top line there. So second trace, five, enter, enter, enter. And there we go. So near the end of the 66th day, or I guess 67 days, the younger tree will surpass the older tree. Or two thirds of, a way, of the way through the 66th day, both trees will be 153.3 repeating centimeters each.